Hi, good morning, good afternoon. It's Katie Kemper with Sly Fox Fabrics. We're here for our reveal today on, uh, what is this, January 23rd. We've got a few brush polys and some French terry to show you. Um, we're sneaking in some spring, a few spring colors uh, just to get started sewing up some spring stuff. <laughs> Mary Beth's on her way, and I better silence silence my uh, comments here. Let's see. Here we go. There we go. That should do it, I hope. Oh, we're showing names now. Hi, Priscilla. We're supposed to be getting a shipment in, by the way, today. Hi, everybody. Talking out there. <laughs> we have a ton of solids coming in. Um, they're supposed to come today, but I can't believe they haven't been here yet. I know. That she's going to stay till. Okay. Um, so we have, uh, you know, some fresh poly solids. We have four new colors coming in. And then we have a ton of Ponte. A ton of solid Ponte coming in. Uh, both the heavy Ponte and the... Um, the lighter weight Ponte, and what else do we have? Some more French Terry and some Slub French Terry. So as soon as we get that in and uh, work our way through it, we'll update the inventory on it. Uh, and then probably have some new stuff to show next week. All right. Did you show me your whole dress? Well, they saw, there's a picture, see my dress? <laughs> <laughs> there's a picture of it online <laughs> on the group page. Um, I'm barely breathing. <laughs> so today, uh, Bella Sunshine has a pattern giveaway. Um, if you comment on the video, it enters you to win um, a Bella Sunshine pattern, or you could win the Reveal Booty, which is a yard of each of the fabrics that are new stocking today that I show. So all you have to do is comment. You can comment as many times as you like. Each comment is an entry. So tomorrow at about 4 o'clock, we'll pick the winner. So anytime, you can comment anytime between now and then. And uh, and we're going to have a spring pre-order coming soon for you uh, for French Terry and cotton spandex. We have a 10-ounce cotton spandex, so we're going to put that together and make it live. I'm looking at next week. It'll, it'll go live next week, I think. That sounds right. Somebody wants to know if the... Ponte has 50% stretch both ways. Uh, the Ponte, um, does the Ponte have 50% stretch both ways? I won't know until we get it. The heavy Ponte does. The nylon and rayon, I'm pretty sure that has 50-50. I'm not sure. I'm not positive, but I think the nylon, the nylon rayon heavy Ponte, if I remember correctly, all of that stuff had 50-50. But I won't know for certain until we get everything in. Because sometimes, even though uh, fabrics are the same print on the same base, they have different. Yeah, they can true. have different stretches. So we we check the stretch every single time we update a fabric, even if we've had it in before. Um, so um, I don't know. It's my favorite answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so let's take a look just real quick. Had some Bella Sunshine stuff for you. The Sahara dress, super cute. And I had to put this picture up of Jennifer Jeremiah's little girl making her face, just like her doll. <laughs> so cute. So th there's a doll and a children's pattern for that. And then um, they also have the, um, oh, they're coming out, by the way, with, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm going to do that. With a pair of, with some underwear. She just posted this yesterday oh. in their group. So, um, coming soon, undies from Bella Sunshine Designs. Some sh sunshine underwear. And then uh, another thing you might want to take a look at if you go visit their website is their Apple Cardigan, which is really cute. And, of course, I say that for everything. But it is really cute. And uh, it's perfect for lightweight sweater knits, um, which we still have some in stock. And it looks like she might be wearing in that picture 
That kind of looks like a lighter jersey weight knit. So it, I really like the design of that apple cardigan. So take a look at App or Bella Sunshine. If you've never looked at their patterns before or sewn with them, they're definitely worth a look. A look-see. All right. Any other news? Anything else? I've got nothing. Mary Beth's got nothing. All right. So this is what I'm wearing right now. <laughs> and uh, I think I, for a while until I get on my diet for a few few weeks, I'm going to quit wearing such <laughs> tight-fitting clothes. Uh, this is the double brush poly in the python snakeskin design and of course it's very soft nice and stretchy I can't remember I think this had 50% stretch vertically um, but the percentages are on the listing on the website Let me angle you down a little bit so you can see more fabric so this one, I'll show you some coordinates that you could mix and match it with. Um, the mocha was a good match, even though I see on the screen it doesn't look that great. But in person it looks nice, wouldn't you say? No? She's telling me no. Must be something wrong with my eyes. It looks too pink. I guess. Too pink? Too pink. What about the khaki? I like khaki. Khaki? I don't like khaki, but I put it in as a complimentary coordinate because not a, it's not an exact match. Also not an exact match, but I like it, is the charcoal. Now that I like. Yeah. That's real nice. And by the way, the picture, the picture on there is more representative of the color. We have terrible lighting. Not much I can do about it. So if you want to see true color, the picture is the best one. And of course black. Now, this fabric doesn't have black in it. It has like a black brown, but black matches just about everything. Mm -hmm. So it looks really nice together. And I, I mixed a black belt with it, which is all the way up to here. <laughs> <laughs> Put a little black belt on around my Olympia dress. I think it's the first time I've had this belt for probably seven years. It's the first time I've worn it. Um, okay, so our next one is the Be Mine uh, Double Brush Poly. It's cute, sweet little pink and red flowers. Reminds me of Valentine's Day. And uh, it is ivory. You see that the screen has gone darker. And this is really nice with, ooh. <coughs> I didn't put this in. As a uh, coordinate, what do you think? I like it. it matches. Yeah, this is the pink rose. Really matches these uh, cute little pink flowers. Of course, ivory. And uh, light pink. And red. So I'm going to hold on to this because I have something else to show you. Oh, wait. I have two more things to show you, but one of them comes later. This uh, pink Glen plaid, this is double brush poly. These are really cute together. I just wanted to show you that because I was walking by the shelf and I saw this and went, ooh, that would be adorable. You could do a raglan with that or if you made a top, you could cuff it with the, um, the Glen plaid. I'm sure there's all kinds of creative things you could, you could do with those together. Okay. We have Eden and Mauve. We've had this in red, and we also had it in Rayon Chalet and Navy Blues. Rayon Chalet went like hotcakes. Um, so this is Double Brush Poly. And believe it or not, there wasn't a lot of matches for this, I a lot believe, of coordinates. I believe that. Yeah, it's kind of hard to coordinate. This is the um, Ivory, and then Magenta. Magenta went really that pretty. Looks good with yeah, it. there's some um, magenta in the flowers in there. It actually looks really pretty together. I bet every believe day it or I'll not. Go with this. Oh, every day I'll <laughs> probably would go with it. But every day olive is nowhere to be found. I'm gonna keep this one too. You're keeping that. Too. I'm keeping that too. Okay, so now we're on to our French cherries. So much going on here. Let's see. Take this out. 
Vintage Roads is uh, this color. So we got in some lighter springy colors that we didn't already have. We've got plenty of solid French terry, but there's so many more colors we can add. So why not? Um, so this is uh, Baby French Terry. It is a solid and it has 50% horizontal stretch, but it is stable vertically. So it's a two-way stretch Baby French Terry. Very soft, poly rayon spandex blend. You can have that one. Are you sure? I'm sure. I'm sure, sure. And then we have, did I skip one? The aqua. Okay, so sage is next. Now, this to me screams spring. Yes. I love this color. Sage green. It's a, more like the picture. And we have heather, is it heather sage? Is it this one? It's, it's that really light one. The really light one? Yes, it's the really, that's the... It's the one that almost looks limey. What's this color? Oh, that's the... Um, melon. This melon, is melon. Yeah. Okay, so the sage solid looks really pretty with the melon. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, the melon. It's heathered. Heathered melon. <laughs> Just makes me think of a honeydew melon. It's like a honeydew melon color. But they're really cute together, and I really like those together. So that's very springy. And I discovered while doing this that these two are really pretty together, especially if you like um, purple and green. This says it's mauve. I almost called it lavender, but it's, it's way not. more lavender than mauve. You, you think so? I, I think lavender is a little more blue. Yeah. But, uh, I thought these were really pretty together because the green and I just mm -hmm. love that green and purpley pink thing going on. So those are nice coordinates. There's that. I'm going to throw this over to you. <laughs> now you get them all at once. And then this next one is, um, I'm going to take the words all down. Aqua. Oh, isn't that pretty? That's a great Aqua's color. color. So we thought, you know, you're probably still sewing stuff for the winter time, but my gosh, we need a little spring around here, especially after that storm that just went across the country. Uh, so, oh, I did forget to show you guys that on the, um, the vintage rose, uh, French terry, that it matches the pink rose. I was trying to match these up to solids, just in case you wanted to, you know, try and line um, hoodies and things like that with solid brush poly. And make your drawstrings out of the brush oh, poly. Oh, and make it, you can make your drawstrings out of the um, brush poly, too. So this is the pink rose, and it matches the vintage rose. Okay. Let's so that back. Okay, so this is aqua. This one feels a little bit different. It's like softer or something. I don't know. I don't, I don't know why that is, but it is. Somebody wants to know if you end up with a lot of static from draping all that fabric on you. Oh. Mostly the polys, huh? Yeah. You know, I haven't noticed any static, really, from the fabric. Um, Just from me. <laughs> Just from Mary Beth. And then one of the things we I felt like we were missing in the French cherry was a basic red. So we got that in. So now we have a nice base. To me, this is like a superhero red. Yeah, it's you really great. You can mix it with the royal blue and very su superhero colors. And look how cute it is with this. Aw. Yeah, isn't that sweet? Mm -hmm. You can make yourself or your kids a little uh, Valentine hoodie. Out of the roses in the red. Cute. Yeah, they'll be the bell of the, uh, the party at school. That's right. <laughs> so I wanted to show you guys that. So these two are cute together. So that's what we have going on is, uh, I don't know, one, two, three, four new French terries, a couple new brush polys. Um, we do have that spring 
think spring uh, pre-order coming up, so there's going to be some nice, really springy colors in there, yellows, more pinks, more aquas, um, some solids, uh, peaches, as well as uh, heathered colors, and um, some really nice uh, cotton spandex colors, and, and I'm going to I'm going to coordinate them for you so you'll know what cotton spandex matches what French terry if you wanted to buy stuff to match to make matching stuff out of. So <laughs> it's going to be a great price. I don't have your price yet. Um, well, actually, on the French terry, it'll be the same price as it was in the fall. Six twenty-five for solids and six fifty for um, heathers and two tones. And then I'm still working on the price for the cotton spandex, but um, that'll be coming up. Keep an eye out for it next week. We're going to have it open for longer than we normally do. Also, we usually do them for five days. We're going to have them open, this one open for maybe eight days, eight or nine. Somebody wants to know if the Slub French Terry we have coming in is new colors or restocks. The Slub French Terry coming in, we have black, which is a restock. Um, there's only so many colors offered by the supplier. We've, we've had almost all of them. I think we have three or four coming in. And I can't remember. There wasn't a whole lot available. So I think I got what was available. Okay. And I, I'm sorry, I don't remember exactly what they were. But um, I don't think there was any new ones. I think they were all restocks. Okay. That's, that's all the questions. That's all the questions? Okay, well, uh, thank you guys so much for joining us today. And don't forget to comment um, so you can be eligible to win a pattern or the reveal booty. And we'll announce those winners in the group tomorrow after 4. So you have until 4 to comment. So um, you don't have to watch live. It can be live or it can be after. All right, so thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week. <laughs> There's my phone. Just in time.